Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Lena and welcome to my garden. I am speaking to you from my garden in the Pacific Northwest of Washington State. Uh, right now it is uh, November, end of November 2023. I'd like to say hi today and also um, I wanted to tell you guys that I'll be moving. My husband and I are moving to Virginia because of his job and we're gonna be there for about three years and in the future we may or may not come back to this house um, but if you have been um, following my channel and, and following the progress of my garden thank you so much I will continue to keep this channel and hopefully in the future I'll be moving into a house with a different uh, garden or maybe not maybe I'll just get to start another garden all over again um, but right now um, I do want to uh, give you a little bit of a tour of what my garden looks like in the winter um, it's been such a cold winter here. Um, I kind of heard back in October when it started snowing up on Mount Rainier that this was going to be a cold winter. I didn't expect the cold to come so early and to stay so long. Um, this is the last week of November and we've had like almost a week straight of uh, below freezing temperatures. I woke up with like frost on the ground um, and um, I hope my camellias are doing okay. If you've been um, watching me, you'll know that normally I would keep my camellias along um, this patio um, in containers and I grow my all my camellias in containers and but because we're moving um, I moved all of my containers to that corner right there um, because I feel like they will be better protected now I had the option to um, dig them all out of the containers and also plant them all in the ground as well but I decided not to do that because it was like a lot of work and I just it was just me you know gardening in this house and I just didn't have the the time or the strength or the effort to do that um, so let me walk around um, really quick um, to give you uh, a tour of what my garden looks like so let's start with this corner um, I tried to put down some mulch here uh, this morning, but I ran out of bags of mulch, so I'll have to continue that tomorrow. So I've got five camellias, and I put one right here, um, and then four in a row back there. Um, two of them are in wooden containers, and the wooden container ones are usually the ones that get the most um, winter damage. Um, so I try to uh, mulch it as much as I could and I put them in like way deep in the corner there because I feel like they'll be better protected and this corner here um, they'll be protected from like really strong winds and things like that so I really hope that they'll be okay for you know the next three years until I can come back to west coast and um, move them to my new home or maybe continue to live in this home i don't know the future is so uncertain um, but here are my four camellias in this uh, in this corner um, this corner is so messy guys i'm kind of you see a lot of my uh, rose branches and things um, I trimmed everything down quite a bit um, to get this garden ready we're renting out this house um, not sure if I said that so I'm trying to get things ready for the tenants um, although it's I don't expect the tenants to take care of my garden at all like we're hiring uh, uh, professional landscapers to come in maybe once or twice a year to, to do like some garden cleanups and things like that um, but for the n coming spring I just wanted to make sure that you know the garden is good and prepped um, for if we have tenants moving in so this corner is probably the messiest corner um, of, or the messiest part of the garden because I haven't had a lot of time to do this I only I started gardening like I think five five and a half years ago and this is the last part of the like the last um, section that I uh, worked on and I started working on this I think two summers ago um, and back then I didn't realize that we were gonna be moving um, so this part is like the most like undone part and then over here, I've got some uh, roses and containers and, and some uh, roses like climbing up here. This is a climber. So I trimmed everything down almost um, to the ground. But this is also like a younger rose. Um, everything is asleep right now. 
So when I came out to work, so I've been like working, like putting mulch down and stuff for the last couple days now. It's quite peaceful to garden in the winter also, although it's really cold. And I've got some trees in the middle of the yard. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for the tenants, like whoever is going to live in this house. Like they're going to have a bit of a hard time mowing the lawn because I, you know, planted trees kind of in the middle of my yard. But honestly guys, if we get tenants who love flowers or love gardening, they're gonna love my little garden because right now it doesn't look much but, you know, in the during the growing season, there'll be like hundreds of things that, you know, pop up off the ground. Um, I've got like tiny little bulbs hidden everywhere um, these like huge uh, rose bushes are so showy in the summer um, my hydrangea back here Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this, although I'm not going to be here to see it. But um, my uh, little candy tuft, is that what they're called? Yeah, white little candy tuft. They're going to grow and flower so beautifully. Ah, They're going to be so lovely. Um, and I hope my tenants get to enjoy my magnolia trees. There are not a lot of them in the area. I guess people are afraid to grow them because sometimes like it gets really cold here and I've heard you know some people lose their magnolia trees and they get discouraged to uh, continue to grow them but this is my Cape Harris magnolia which is an evergreen and it's still looking lush and lovely even though it's been so cold um, gorgeous it's one of my favorite trees okay what else so um, this thing, um, Victoria California Lilac, I have two of these in front of my patio. They grew so large in the last five years. When I first bought them, they were like barely a foot tall. And um, like, you know, this past summer, they grew like taller than me and I'm like 5'5". Five five. So they probably were like six, seven feet tall, um, really blocking the entire area, which was, you know, like I thought it was nice for me because I do like um, a little bit of privacy when I like, you know, sit out here and like have my meal and stuff. But um, because they were growing really large and wide, they were kind of blocking, you know, the walkway. So um, I chopped a lot of branches off and right now they're about four feet tall. And right here, this is phantom uh, hydrangea or hydrangea paniculata. And I just uh, chopped off a lot of uh, branches and some of the flowers and just kind of keep it looking nice and clean um, for next year. But um, yeah, all right, so that's my life right now. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I will see you um, soon on the East Coast. Bye!